Helping Seniors Television, all about improving quality of life for seniors. If you're a senior, know a senior, or plan to be a senior, then this show is for you. It's all about helping you develop your own aging plan so you can age actively and with dignity. Helping Seniors Television, from the Helping Seniors Network of Information, Education, and Resources. Learn how a reverse mortgage can make a big financial difference in your senior years as Helping Seniors TV visits with reverse mortgage expert Barbara McIntyre. There's more to it than those 30-second ads on TV. I'm Kerry Fink. Welcome to Helping Seniors Television. On behalf of our president and founder, Joe Steckler, what a privilege to have you today. I'm so excited about uh, sharing with you today our guest, who is a longtime friend, of the Helping Seniors organization. It's none other than Barbara McIntyre, who's a reverse mortgage expert. Hey, Barb, how are you today? I'm great. It's good to see you, Carrie. It's good to see you. You know, we were just talking about this. Um, Helping Seniors has been serving this area for more than a decade, local mm -hmm. Florida charity right here, home on the Space Coast. And then I was talking with you before the cameras were rolling, and you've been right here on the Space Coast for 17 plus years. Uh, leading, helping, guiding folks through the world of reverse mortgages. That's pretty impressive right by itself. Yes, I have been, and I've seen many changes over those years, and all for the best. All <laughs> the changes have been to improve the product and make it, you know, better. And Yeah, you know, I, was, I love to tell the story, folks. If you know Joe Steckler, number one, he is the most tireless advocate for seniors that ever likely could be. Uh, he's the guy who publishes in all the local newspapers his information. He's always advocating for seniors. And he's a fierce defender of senior rights. The mm -hmm. thing that will get under his hackles more than anything is a story of fraud or scam or anything that would impact a senior negatively. And I remember Barb McIntyre, I love to tell the story because you <laughs> made a convert out of him. But at first he was pretty tough on you about... I guess there was a lot of publicity in the early days about, mm -hmm. oh, stay away from reverse mortgages. They're just a trap to get your home and things like that. You've heard, this is all stuff you've heard a million times, but I saw you have to walk Joe through it point by point. And then when he finally got it, he's like, now I understand it. Right. And I had to do it, Carrie, more than one time, <laughs> too. I had to remind him more than once. Yeah. So, and some of those things that, we heard even back then you hear today yeah. some people still think the bank is trying to get your home or that there'll be no equity left in the home when the children are going to inherit and so we always are still dispelling the myths right and then too uh, we've noticed over the years because you and i have done tv you and joe together have done tv over the years so there are actually a lot of episodes on helping seniors tv where you've been talking about that. And of course, you're a regular guest on Helping Seniors Radio, so the same goes there. But I guess a lot of the common questions, people see these television on national, uh, national TV, they see these commercials, and here's a famous movie star saying, hey, now is the time, you should trust me because I was in your favorite movie. <laughs> and, you know, I'm not saying it's good or bad, I'm just saying it's, a, it's an interesting approach, but it causes a lot of people to call you to get the real skinny on it. I always say, thank you, Tom Selleck, <laughs> you know, and when people call me, I say, well, I'm sorry I'm not Tom, but I can assure you, he's not gonna come to your kitchen table. <laughs> I promise I will. And I appreciate the, those commercials because they do encourage people to pick up the phone and call to get accurate information. I've always been a believer that knowledge is power. And I think it's very important that people understand the benefit of the possibility of taking the, the asset of their home, especially today, when everything costs more, when markets are volatile, when people's investments may not be lasting as long, and look at the possibility of how that home can be put into a long-term financial plan, so. You know, and that reminds me because I was thinking about this fact too, it's like you've been a friend of the Helping Seniors Organization for uh, the better part of the, the, the 10 plus years that we've been uh, serving the, the Space Coast and seniors in our area, and I have even, I was making the comment again before the cameras are rolling, I have seen the perception of um, reverse mortgages 
transform from a somewhat sketchy kind of like, oh, the, is the bank just trying to get your home uh, type of product to a place where now financial advisors are actually saying, we need to talk about your home and the equity in your home and does a reverse mortgage play into your retirement plan? Ab I guess you've seen that a lot. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, years ago, uh, the reverse mortgage really was considered a mortgage of last resort. It was by everyone. It was when borrowers were what we called house rich and cash poor. Mm -hmm. And they would come to the end of the month and it was don't really have any money. So I have to decide, am I going to buy groceries or buy my medicine? And that was a tough situation to be in. And those borrowers, those homeowners were coming to me and saying, can you help me get more money? And yes, we could. We could get money out of the house. Well, then, Carrie, that turned around to, as we moved along, realizing with the help of some very smart financial uh, advisors doing research and crunching numbers, the realization that using that housing wealth mm -hmm. as a strategic plan could actually help borrowers much earlier in retirement plan for a longer path of making their assets last. And so they didn't run out of money as they got older. Right. So that's, the, that's what's changed over these many, many years. Well, we live along the Space Coast here, and mm -hmm. so we're used to having NASA and lots of acronyms, and I would call it Technospeak. And, mm -hmm. and so, uh, but with that kind of as a backdrop in mind, I want to come back, and I don't want to overlook an obvious question. Somebody may not know what a reverse mortgage is. So before we dive too deeply into right. some of the ways it could help, maybe we best stop down, make sure that we're all on the same page with the definition. What is a reverse mortgage? Absolutely great idea. The FHA insured reverse mortgage that was put into place by Ronald Reagan is called the Home Equity Conversion Mortgage. The acronym is HECM, H-E-C-M, HECM. That mortgage is insured because the borrowers, the homeowners that use that FHA product, pay money into an insurance fund. Mm -hmm. And that insurance fund protects the homeowners that only their home is going to be used to repay the debt. So what it does is it lets a homeowner borrow portions of their equity, but not have to make a principal or interest payment. So that's a very unique concept. When you get a regular mortgage, what do you do? You agree to make a payment every single month, an interest and principal payment, sometimes for as many as 30 years. Mm -hmm. So when you're a 70-year-old and you want to borrow money from your house, if you get a regular mortgage and you have to commit to a principal and interest payment, you may be just living on social security income. It might be really hard to agree to a, a constant principal and interest payment. With a reverse mortgage, you basically get the same loan, but it's a reverse mortgage and you're not obligated to make the principal and interest payment. The good news is you can if you want to. What people don't realize is when you have a reverse mortgage, you can still make a payment if you want to. So it's really a flexible payment mortgage. Mm -hmm. You make it or you don't make it. It's up to you. And I think one of the things that seemed like a real valuable part of this equation too, when you were talking about that insurance, is if I take a regular mortgage and we run through some debacle like everybody who was around in 2008 remembers what happened to housing prices. The problem is if you pass the house along to heirs and it may not be worth even what the home mortgage left on it is, that could put your heirs in a difficult situation when they're trying to calculate everything out. But if I follow you correctly on the reverse mortgage because you've paid that insurance premium, even if that were the case, that's all they can look to is the house satisfies the mortgage, even if what happened in 2008 were to happen again. Absolutely correct. 
the mortgage insurance, which is part of the closing costs on the reverse mortgage loan, which rolls into the loan itself, that guarantees that if the house can't pay back the debt because it lost value mm -hmm. for whatever reason, mm -hmm. the heirs will never be on the hook to pay more. Wow. So the rest of the, the estate, if whatever the family has, whatever the, is in the bank account, the cars, mm -hmm. art on the wall, the estate keeps that. It's only the house responsible for repayment of the debt. And then that mortgage insurance steps in to pay the difference to the lender. That's how it works. Wow. And let's go the flip side. Let's suppose the housing market doesn't tank. Let's just suppose it goes through the stratosphere. Now, in a conventional mortgage, that's a plus for the people who inherit the house, right? Because the house is worth more, so they just pay the debt off and that's it. But it, you can do the same in the reverse mortgage. Absolutely. Any retained equity above the debt still belongs to the estate. So it works just like a regular loan. You sell the house, you pay back the debt, you divvy up the difference. The estate gets to keep the, the retained appreciation. And so it has all the advantages of basically if you decided to do what people might call a cash out mortgage of some kind, mm -hmm. except now the payments are completely voluntary. You decide or you don't pay or whatever you need to do to make your situation work the best. I can see where a financial planner would start to look at that as an important part of the helping somebody develop the best equation they could for their situation. Absolutely. And then when you start to look at some of the differences and how a reverse mortgage can actually change a borrower's situation, if the homeowner already has a mortgage and they're making payments on a loan mm -hmm. and that payment is starting to really become difficult in, a, in an older homeowner's budget, then you start to see that by paying off that mortgage, then the budget is improved. That is a big difference. You, you know, now they have more money to, to buy their food and buy what they need. I, I've heard you talk on the radio and on TV before that a lot of times uh, when folks move into retirement years, they may not have the luxury of having the levels of income they did when they were working. Right. And so what might have been easy enough to handle the mortgage payment pre-retirement uh, now could become a much bigger headache after retirement. So I've heard that you've explained cases where you've helped people basically get rid of the house payment by using the reverse mortgage to make those monthly payments. Absolutely. By getting rid of that, getting rid of the payment, now they don't have that obligation. So that money stays in their bank account. They can also use the funds, like an annuity, turn it into a monthly income stream. That income stream continues as long as they remain in the house. Now they've created a a additional funds that are going to come regardless of what the debt does. That income stream comes every sing single month as long as one of the two, as long as the, until the last homeowner on title leaves the home, those payments will continue coming to them just like a social security payment. I was gonna ask you because uh, we started talking about it and as long as I've known you, Barb McIntyre, you taught me two things today I did not know about you and that's about some of your professional certifications. Uh, I knew that you were an expert, uh, at least I consider you an expert in reverse mortgage. I've seen you help people who've called in literally from other parts of the country, even though your, your licensure and your, what you work with is here in Florida. They say, well, no, I just want to pick your brain and get, get <laughs> some expertise here. But you've really taken the time, I think, academically and professionally to make sure that you have as good a grasp of everything connected to the reverse mortgage market, but also to being a senior advocate. Talk a little bit about it, because you mentioned two different uh, certifications that uh, I wasn't aware that you carried, and I think they're impressive. Well, thanks, Carrie. I'm, all, I'm always a little shy about tooting my own horn, but I one of the things I did a number of years ago was I took the time 
to become a certified senior advisor. And I did that because I felt that it would help me to understand the senior demographic I worked with at all the different stages of their aging and help me understand how they might need me to present the product to them, how I would be able to um, look at them to get an understanding of if they were really grasping what I was saying to them, and then feel, you know, know if I needed to repeat it another time. Or So I've had the designation of a certified senior advisor for many years. I also, through the, um, through the National Reverse Mortgage Lenders Association, took the time to become a certified reverse mortgage professional. And that is a designation. I was the 56th certified reverse mortgage professional designated in the nation through the National Reverse Mortgage Lenders Association. And so that's a designation I'm very proud of also. Well, you know, we talk about that a lot because the people who are kind enough to volunteer their time into the Helping Seniors organization and help us do the work of educating seniors so that they can make the best aging plan possible. You know, the common thread is so many people who are connected to Helping Seniors really go out of their way to really become what I would call the best of the best. And that means, you know, excelling at every opportunity to excel at knowledge of, that's going to help you guide seniors. One of the things that I think is so valuable about what you've taught over the years about reverse mortgage, which was an interesting fact, was that it makes sense to really start thinking about this early. Uh, and and there was actually a financial component that you explained as to why the commercial, uh, the, the, the HECM, the um, real estate reverse mortgage loan actually is a good thing to put in place early in your retirement years. Right. And that is that there's a, there is a feature to the HECM that has a line of credit option that allows for future borrowing power through the growth of this line of credit. So by obtaining the HECM and leaving that line of credit in place and taking advantage of a built-in growth feature, you are giving yourself more and more borrowing power over the years. So for example, if you are trying to plan for home uh, health care options, and they say that your home health care costs as an elder in this country are probably going to be the biggest expenses that a senior will face in their lifetime. If you are really trying to make sure you have done what you can to cover that expense, this is one really good way to do it. Uh, you, you put this in place, it just grows in, in behind the scenes. You've already got the mortgage in place, it costs you virtually nothing. And then it's just there. So if you have a health event and you're 20 years from now and you're still in your home, you just ask for what you need and there you have it to bring in the services you need. That in and of itself is just a really good resource. And that's where the future planning really comes in. One thing I will say, there are products in the reverse mortgage industry now that are making uh, reverse mortgage, conventional reverse mortgages available today. They're being made available to a younger borrower. Mm -hmm. The FHA HECM requires a borrower to be 62 years old. The conventional reverse mortgages available today are being made available for people that are as young as 55. Wow. Now, there are aspects of, and there are aspects and situations that can make those loans uh, a possible benefit. But again, I think it's really important that mm -hmm. Any borrower needs to really look at their long-term plan and where they see themselves and where they see themselves using home equity in their plan 
before they move forward and decide how they want to draw equity today. I'm a very big believer that housing wealth is something that strategically should be planned for use in the future. Mm -hmm. It, you know, we ended up in 08 in a pretty bad situation because as property values rose through the roof, many, many people continued to try to strip the equity out mm -hmm. of their home with cash out refis. And, and then when the values pulled back or situations happened and they wanted to try to correct what they had done, they found that they had stripped so much equity out of their home, they were in a mess. So again, responsible advice, responsible use of home equity. I really um, feel very strongly that it's, you need to trust who you're talking to, understand mortgage products. Um, it's just sage advice that that's what you need to do is understand you know, your options, so. Well, I was thinking too, uh, I've heard you talk about this so often, is that, uh, I, and I don't want to miss this question, so the age for the FHA reverse mortgage would be 62, and I've heard you talk from time to time about some of the other mortgage options, like I know that there were limits, like you said, for people who have houses that are worth so much money, there's certain jumbo mm -hmm. the kind of things that you can look at, mm -hmm. and I wanted to get you to talk about that, but I also was surprised to hear when we were talking about this, because there's another thing I didn't know about you, is that in the process of becoming an expert on reverse mortgages, you also have to become uh, schooled as a loan originator. So you really have like this full understanding of the whole process all the way through. To originate any loan anywhere in the country, every person that does originate loans has to attend uh, go through a, a to total process of becoming knowledgeable about mm -hmm. lending and all of its rules. So mm -hmm. you attend a 20 hour class, you pass a class exam, then you take a very stringent national mm -hmm. exam. Then each state has its own exam wow. and you pass the rules for each state. So if you're licensed in multiple states, you may have to ta take state mm -hmm. exams. You have continuing education for every state you're licensed in, it is, it is not for the faint of heart. It is so that the ethics and the, and the you know, it's a financial industry is, it needs to be regulated like that. You need to know what you're doing because if people look to you for guidance, you better know what you're doing and know, you know, you better be uh, giving good advice and understanding the products you're talking about. Now, I don't do for what I call forward loans. Mm -hmm. I strictly do reverse loans, but I work with some great loan originators that I recommend for other types of loans. And so I, I stay somewhat involved. I certainly know where we are with interest rates, which are continuing to be on the rise today. But uh, that's what I do. I refer business to other people for those loans. Well, and I've seen you actually talk about the concept of sometimes that people will use a reverse mortgage as a tool to then finance even a second home, a vacation home or things like that. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's interesting the things that I've heard you speak about along the way. One of the things when I think back through your own uh, professional experience, your knowledge, the um, certifications you have, uh, it is pretty amazing to me that you're as generous with your time. I know people call up, and I've seen you talk people out of reverse mortgage and say, this is not the right tool for you. Right, and sometimes it is not. You know, the first thing in a conversation is, where do you see yourself in two years? You know, and if that if that homeowner says, I really am looking forward to in the next couple of years moving in with my daughter in Georgia, then I would say, well, this is not a short term loan. Right. You know, a reverse mortgage, particularly the HECM, the Home mm -hmm. Equity Conversion Mortgage, mm -hmm. the FHA product mm -hmm. is expensive yeah. because of the mortgage insurance and some of the other costs. It's expensive. It's not a short-term loan. Right. So that's not a great option. 
And, it, you know, it, it's really, I would say, there's a five-year rule of thumb yeah. to me. If you, if you, no one has a crystal ball. Right. So, it, you know, but if, if you, if someone says, I am not leaving, I'm going out of my house, toes up. Yep. Then I say, well, then let's go ahead and, and consider, you know, this is an option and let's talk about you know, value and, you know, what do you owe? What, you know, what, how, what do you want it to do for you? Then we start talking about what are you trying to accomplish? What are you trying to pay off? What are you, how can we make this help you? Yeah, I love how you take a sort of a consultant's approach, an advisory approach, because you really want to learn from the people that you're speaking with about their situation, what they hope to accomplish, so that you can guide them correctly. If somebody's watching this and they want to get in touch with you and get mm -hmm. more information, what's the best way that they would do that? They can call me anytime at 321-259-7880. And uh, I'm really available all the time. I, I love to talk. <laughs> and I always love to talk about this product. Carrie will tell you. So... <laughs> That's uh, it, the best way. It really is so important because if you're studying this and you're saying, like, this could be part of my financial plan, uh, you got to take a look at every tool that you can have in your toolkit that's going to help you in your aging plan. And I think the uh, knowledge about reverse mortgages is so important. So uh, if this topic has intrigued your interest, I want to encourage you to get in touch with Barb McIntyre so she can talk to you about the specifics of your particulars. There's plenty of resources, radio shows, uh, TV programs, and so forth that you can also avail yourself. You're a frequent contributor in our uh, Helping Seniors newsletter. And so, Barb, I just want to thank you for being with us today on the TV show. And viewer, I want to thank you for joining us for Helping Seniors TV. We'll see you again real soon. On behalf of Joe Steckler and our entire team, see you next time. I'm Joe Steckler. Thank you for joining our program today. I'd like to remind you that our senior information line is available to you at 321-473-7770. There you can get help and direction that could be helpful for your specific situation or circumstances. The work of helping seniors is very important, but we can't do it alone. That is why our sponsors here in Brevard County are so important. I'd like to thank our many area sponsors, businesses and medical providers who support the mission of helping seniors that help us carry the cost of our media efforts. If you'd like to join us either as a business partner or simply donate as an individual, we would welcome your call at 321-473-7770. You're always welcome to visit our website at www.helpingseniorsofbrevard.org. Thanks so much for your help. It does make a difference.